This video covers the IGCSE Biology Objective 8.2.4 on the 2025 CAIE syllabus to investigate the pathway of water in an above ground plant. So we're going to take a look at a video that shows an experiment that hopefully you will be able to do in the laboratory in school. So this experiment is about investigating the xylem in celery. So to do this, you need some jars with food coloring mixed with water. The darker, the better. And you need some leafy celery stalks. Do not remove the leaves. You're going to cut the bottom so they're nice and even and place them in the different colored jars for up to 24 hours. The longer, the better. Once the time is up, you can remove them from the dye and take a look at the bottoms. And here you'll be able to see that the food coloring has moved into the celery stalks. In fact, you'll be able to see clearly that the food coloring has moved up the celery stalks and into the leaves. Here we see the leaves tinged red. If you take a slice of the celery stalk, you'll be able to see the vascular bundles in the celery stalk that contain the xylem, which you can also see located here in the celery. So if we examine the results of this experiment a little bit more closely, we will see the vascular bundles of the celery. I've just circled some examples here. So we know that the vascular bundle in the stem contains xylem and phloem. Remember the phloem is towards the epidermal layer and the xylem is towards the center portion of the stem. So we can see that the phloem does not have any dye in it whereas the xylem does. So the food coloring solution is found in the xylem. It's showing that water is transported in that vessel. So let's just go through the pathway of water again. In this experiment, water is being pulled up the stems through the xylem to the leaves. This is another classic example of this type of experiment using white carnations to see how water moves up through the stem. Because the food coloring is dissolved molecules in the water, we can actually see the water's pathway through the stem and into the vascular bundles of the leaves. By examining the stems of the plant, we can see that water has only traveled in the xylem vessels. When you do this experiment, you will see that the cortex and the other tissue of the stem are not dyed red or green or blue, whichever food coloring you use. It is only the xylem vessels within the vascular bundles that have the dye in it. And that tells us that water only travels in the xylem vessels.